I am Vyan Jaiswal. Today, again I am starting a chapter that is addition and subtraction of class 4. Now first we shall understand addition with carrying. Just see the question here. The three numbers are given and you have to add all these. So what? How will you add? Just see the process here. Step 1. First you add the ones. 3 plus 2 plus 7 equal to 12. Write 2 in the 1's column. Carry over 1 to the 10's column. Then step 2. Add the 10's 8 plus 9 plus 8 equal to 25. But remember to add the 110 you carried over. Hence 25 plus 1 equal to 26. So 26 tenths equal to 200 plus 6 tenths. So write 6 in the tenths. Step 3. Add the hundreds with that carried over hundreds. 2 plus 7 plus 4 plus 9 equal to 22. So 22 hundreds equal to 2000 plus 2 hundreds. Write 2 in the, in the hundred columns. Carry 2 to the thousands column. Step 4. Add the thousands with a carried over thousands. 2 plus 8 plus 7 plus 6 equal to 23. So 23 thousands equal to 2 ten thousands plus 3 thousands. Write 3 in the thousands column and carry over 2. 2. Now step 5. Add the ten thousands. With a carried over 10,000, 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 2 equal to 10. 10, 10,000 equal to 1 lakh plus 0, 10,000. Write 0 in the 10,000 column and carry over 1 to the lakh column. Step 6. Now add the lakh column with the carry over number. 1 plus 4 plus 3 equal to 8, which is 8 lakhs. Write 8 below the lakh column. So the complete answer is 8 lakh 3262, which is 8 lakhs 3260 and 2 ones. Now let us understand properties of addition. So for that, let us add these three numbers given in this question. So what do you see? These numbers can be arranged in different order as given here. Just see in the first column. Answer is 6 to 2164. In the second column, just see same answer. In the third column, again the same. In the fourth, again the same order, same answer. But if you look carefully, the orders are changed in each column. But the answer is same. Now next property, the sum of a number and a zero is the number itself. Just see the example. When you add 42,553 plus zero, what do you get? You get the same number. Similarly, just see the, another example. 66,89,654 lakh, 6 lakh plus 0 gives the same answer. Now let us understand some word problems on addition. Mr. Harish bought a plot of land for rupees 1,35,000. 466. He built a house on it for rupees 2 lakh 86,566. He then bought furniture and other things for the house for rupees 25,518. How much money all did he spend? 
So the total amount of money Mr. Harish spent, that is amount spent on the plot of land, amount spent on building the house, amount spent on furniture and other things. So how will you solve? Amount spent on the plot of land, that is one lakh thirty-five thousand four hundred sixty-six. Amount spent in building the house, which is two lakh eighty-six thousand five hundred sixty-six. Amount spent on furniture and other things, seventy-five thousand five hundred eighty. So the total amount spent, what will you do? You will add all these, and you will get the answer as four lakh ninety-seven thousand six hundred twelve. Now let us understand the concept of subtraction. So, first let us see subtraction without regrouping. Just see the example here. Now, in the subtraction, the number written on the top is called minuend, and the number written below the minuend is called subtrahend. And the answer that is after subtraction is called difference. So here the minimum is five nine nine eight seven and subtrahend two four eight five six. Now step one, subtract the ones seven minus six equal to one. Put down one in the ones columns. Similarly, step two, eight minus five equal to three. Write three in the tens columns. Then step three, subtract the hundreds. That is nine minus eight equal to one. Then step four, subtract the thousands. That is nine minus four equal to five. Then step five, subtract the thousands. Five minus two equal to three. So the answer is thirty-five thousand one hundred thirty-one, and this is the difference. Now let us understand the constant concept subtraction with regrouping. But before that, let us see this example very carefully. Six tens plus three ones can be written as five tens plus thirteen ones. Similarly, you can write. 500 plus 8 tens as 400 plus 18 tens, 7000 plus 500 as 6000 plus 1500, 8000 plus 12000 as 10000 plus 10 thousands. 3 tens plus 8 ones equal to 2 tens plus dash ones. 3 tens plus 8 ones is equal to 30 plus 8, which is 38. So the missing number, how will you find? We have two tens. That is 20 on the other side, so the missing number is equal to 38 minus 20 is equal to 18. That is 18 ones. Similarly, 200 plus 5 tens equal to dash 100 plus 15 tens. 200 plus 5 tens equal to 200 plus 50, which is 250. To find the missing number, you will subtract 250 minus 150. That gives hundred, which is the missing number, one hundred. Next, another example: nine thousand plus eight hundred equal to eight thousand plus dash hundreds. So what do we see? To find the in the missing number, as in the previous example, you will subtract ninety-eight minus ninety-eight hundred minus eight thousand equal to eighteen hundred, which gives. The missing number as eighteen hundreds. Similarly, three ten thousand plus two three two thousand equal to two ten thousand plus ten thousand. Three ten thousand plus two thousand equal to three thirty thousand plus two thousand is thirty two thousand. To find the missing number, as before, we'll subtract twenty thousand from thirty two thousand. To get the answer as twelve thousand. Now, next example: five tens plus nine ones equal to four tens plus dash ones. So, five tens plus nine ones equal to fifty plus nine, which is fifty-nine. To 
find the missing numbers subtract 40 from 59 to get 90 that is the missing number 91 now subtraction with borrow just see the question given here subtract the ones 5 minus 4 equal to 1 then subtract the ones which you have subtracted already but in step 2 what will you do subtract the tens but here just see 8 is greater than 7 borrow 1 from the hundreds column and change 100 to 8 to 10 tens we now have 10 plus 7 17 tens 17 minus 8 equal to 9 so step 2 we have done very carefully for step 3 subtract the hundreds 4 minus 3 equal to 1 put 1 in the hundreds column after that step 4 subtract the thousands but 7 is more than 5 borrow 1 from the 10 thousands column and change 1 10 thousands to thousands we now have 10 plus 5 equal to 15 thousand 15 minus 7 gives 8 now write 8 in the thousands column step 5 subtract 10 thousands that is 1 minus 1 equal to 0 so the final answer we have arrived is 8191 now let us see one problems related to subtraction the population of Ramgarh is 138,460 and the population of Husaingar is 2,32,560 which town has a greater population and how much more now look carefully since 2,32,560 is more than 1,38,460 so Husaingar has greater population to find how much more population Husaingar has and Ramgarh, the population of Ramgarh has to be subtracted from the population of Husaingar. Just see the method. First to write population of Husaingar equal to then population of Ramgar equal to after that find the answer that gives 94,100. Now just see the another question related to subtraction. The sum of two numbers is 5,65,400. If one of them is 2,38,505, find the other number. So if you put box for the number to be found out, we have just see 2,38,505 plus box equal to 5,55,400 from the property of addition and subtraction you know that when you subtract 2,38,505 from 5,55,400 you will get the answer and that our answer is 32,000 30,26,895 Please do these questions with the help of given explanation carefully. Thank you for watching.